been declined. There's Leo Cahill's CFL coaching record back in 1977. After getting as close as the 14 yard line in a great cup game before losing it in 1971. A yard and a half in, half the distance of the one and a half yard line. Here's Wade into the end zone. Yes, touchdown, Peter Dallariva. That's the same play they ended the first half with, except Harris took it and went 116 yards with a little cross pattern between Brock Aisley and Peter Dallariva. And he now makes his 43rd touchdown catch, which actually gets him a new Alouette record. Hal Patterson had 42 touchdown catches while he was in Alouette. And Peter Dallariva now has 43. And they're just throwing the ball off to the sideline for him to keep. And here we'll see it. Again, the same pattern that they threw late in the half with Barnes through the interception. A crossing pattern between number 19 and 74. They're going for the two-point conversion. And it's through the hands of Ian Mufford, but a penalty marker is down. These Alouettes just don't quit. They've got uh, four seconds on the clock. <laughs> They're determined to get the ball back and do something with it. <laughs> if they can get two points here. Although, as you say, the total points at the end of the season, in the event of any ties, would be a factor. Well, with two points and a short kickoff and one second left, who knows? <laughs> Not much of a chance, but a chance. But it's a chance. 20 to 12 right now. These last 20 seconds have taken longer than uh, three or four minutes of playing time. Well, the infraction must have been against the Montreal Alouettes. Whatever it may have been, we did not pick it up. They've given it's against Toronto. They have given the points to Montreal. A two-point conversion has been awarded by penalty. Well, it must have been illegal interference on a pass receiver, certainly not the one they threw to, but another pass receiver in the end zone, and thus the two points is automatically awarded. And that is the rule when you attempt a two-point conversion. Any pass interference automatically gives you the two points. It wasn't against Mufford, or uh, he was not victimized. He had a chance to catch the ball. It happened somewhere else in this mass confusion here in the final few seconds of the Olympic Stadium. Well, we definitely know we're going to have a short kickoff here, Don, I believe. And Four seconds in which to do it, and if Montreal can recover to get a play away. It's 20 to 14. Argos lead by six. They're leaving such a big hole in the middle there. They better be careful. Sweet doesn't dribble that ball down the center and run after it because they're looking for him to kick it to the side. Here's Here the attempt. Comes. It's got to go the 10 yards. It is going out of bounds. Shoulder out of bounds there. Now what is the call? The Argonauts the claim they touched it. The Alouettes claim they got a piece of it. It was awfully close to not going 10 yards, but the officials say the ball does go to the Toronto Argonauts. There's Peter Delariva with that 43rd career touchdown catch for Montreal, setting an Alouette team record. The Argonauts will ground the ball. And time finally has run out, and there is the gun. Toronto hangs on to a 20 to 14 victory of the first loss of 1977 for the Montreal Alouettes, who now go to seven and one, but they maintain an eight-point lead over Ottawa and Toronto as the Rough Riders and the Argonauts share second place with the Hamilton Tiger Cats now last, one game behind with four points. Well, it's been quite a night here, a record crowd in the Olympic Stadium. We'll be right back. The game is over. The final score is Toronto 20, Montreal 14. Yeah.